Welcome to It's Janice, a show that supports women-owned businesses and minorities, a resource for the community. Listen in as Janice speaks with business leaders, innovation creators, entrepreneurs, and industries that support entertainment, politicians, and sports. Hello, everybody, and welcome to this edition of Talking with Janice with me, your host, Janice McQueen Deloach. And today we are at the Sagamore Pendree Hotel in Baltimore. I have the pleasure of talking with the general manager. Such a pleasure to be here and a pleasure to talk with you. Thank you for being here. Sagamore Pendry is one of the newest hotels in the Maryland, the Baltimore DC corridor. And would you just tell us a little bit about yourself and then what's so special about this hotel? I've been in Baltimore for nine years from North Carolina. Kind of worked my way through and around different properties and positions. And now I'm here representing what we like to call the best property here. And we're excited to represent new luxury under the Pendry brand, as well as Montage International. The bigger piece is the fact that we get to do it locally here with a nice tribute to Baltimore and how this hotel was done. We have 128 rooms, over three floors. You'll see a nautical theme with the long hallways. It feels like you're part of a luxury cruise ship. What is this location? This is amazing. This is the most historic part of the building. It's the original part of the building. All of this way back to 1914 when this was a recreational pier. So what we're going into is an original ballroom area and pre-function space. We now utilize this as some of the most popular wedding and social catering space that we have, but it's another tribute to history to be able to share. The exposed brick we try to maintain into a section where you feel like you're taking on the part of history present throughout the building. Lovely space that we use for all types of functions. Really proud of it to be able to take new luxury and combine it with history from the ages that showcases all of those various levels and artists and architects that have contributed to Sagamore Pendry Baltimore. Now we are in one of the suites. Would you tell us a little bit about this? This is one of our premier harbor suites. It overlooks the pool, it overlooks the Chesapeake, it has a balcony, it has a separate living room area with a sleeping sofa, an additional bathroom. Just a really great room looking at the south side of the building. You can wake up to the sunrise yeah, and look out and still be covered. The king bedroom portion of the one bedroom suite, you'll see the hardwood floors mirrored throughout, marble floors. Wow. You have a personal closet for extra storage space. We have these amazing showers Tell me about this room that we're in. We're inside our signature restaurant, okay. Red Pier Chop House, okay. where we specialize in steaks, Italian food, some great pastas, some dry aged beef, and so many specially curated programs by our executive chef, Robert McGratton. Just tell me a little bit about why this room is called Rec Pier, or what's so special about the way the room is designed. I see you've got your balcony and the lighting, soft light. It's just beautiful. This building was part of the recreational pier in Baltimore, so the name is actually kind of simple. We added a chop house piece to it to give the flavor to the restaurant. And for so long, this was a story part. People knew this was a place to go hang out. And that's part of the reintroduction of how Sagamore Pendry Baltimore came to life, blending the old with the new and then taking a slice out of what's important to many, many people. Yeah, I saw the cabinet when we came in with all of the steaks in it. Sure. And I thought, man, so, you know, is that, you know, does it really take that long to dry age a steak? From what I've learned from our chef, the longer we let that uh, dry aged beef sit, the better it is when we serve it. So very popular and we like to serve them fresh. We are in the Cannon Room. What a fun room. First off, we are here because the name Cannon Room, if you look up, is shaped like the inside of a whiskey barrel. Our partners in Sagamore Spirit are right across the water. As the hotel was being built, they ran into some issues finding something under the building. Couldn't figure it out. They eventually hired professional divers to come in to see what was, what was causing us not to be able to make progress for the barge and the building to move. And they discovered three cannons from ages ago. And we put two at the pool and we put the third one inside this room, under the ground, on the floor, covered by glass where you can walk in and see like an ancient piece of history from one of the wars that was fought here in Baltimore. And thus we have the cannon room. You know what I really love about this so far, just as we're talking and walking, sure. every room has some significance to it, of, you know, behind the name. I think that's really exciting. It's like a, a history museum. Each part tells a story, no matter if you're at the pool or in the Red Pear Chop House or in the cannon room. Some people refer to this as a speakeasy room. So 
multiple use. And the part that it opens up to is the covered part of the courtyard, but leading into the full array of the courtyard. So the way we maximize and, and max out the space is it, really flexible. And the team is amazing at being adaptable and creating a vision and, and working it through. Okay, so now we're outside. And so tell us a little bit about this, this beautiful uh, you know, deck and pool and all of the things that are surrounding here. I see the cannons. This is another special place with our infinity pool that overlooks the harbor and the Chesapeake. Some of the best views in the entire region. We may have activations from live music to special theme nights, but it's just a place where guests can go and enjoy a cabana for the day or lay out and sunbathe or go have a drink or watch an event at the pool bar. These are the cannons that I referenced earlier that we decided to put out here to face out towards the water. We do offer something special for our local community. We have daily pool passes so people can come out and enjoy, even if they're not an overnight guest. Oh, wow. But it's a way to make sure that we stay connected and our local residents and the folks of Baltimore have a chance to come out and enjoy what we have here. And I see you have the water taxi. It's gone now, but... Yeah, no, this is another great partner of ours, the, uh, the water taxi that we can do um, private tours and they can pull up right on our uh, slip up on the side here. And we can take you all parts and destinations throughout the harbor and inner harbor. So quite an array. And then we offer a special dinner menu out here from 6 p.m. and beyond. The pool is everything. And it's for everyone. Wow, wow. Very nice, very nice. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, guys. Well, this wraps up our segment of Talking with Janice. I hope you enjoyed the segment. Thank you. Thank you.